Hello and welcome to Yinka and Friends. Today I'm in Devere Venues restaurant talking to Jasmine Brainberg about her lead role in YouTube drama Steffi. I want to say thank you for coming, first of all. Thank you. And do you want to tell me how you got involved in the project Steffi? In Steffi? Um, Steffi follows a girl called Steffi, who um, is you, is played by me. Yes. Um, and she's like, she works in a hotel kitchen, similar to this. Oh, coincidence. Coincidence. <laughs> and, um, what? <laughs> I didn't, and Where she, are we? <laughs> she... She like no, she likes acting. She acts at school with Dora, who's her um, her acting coach, and she goes to drama club. And from there, she gets scouted by a talent scout who's looking for people to be in a new soap called The Towers. And like, oh, would you like to audition? And obviously, The Towers is the biggest thing in the world ever. Everyone's heard of it. <laughs> and um, she's like taken aback and so excited, and she auditions. Yeah. And um. But her, her her teacher's convinced that she's done really well. Essentially, it's like a rags to riches. Exactly, kind of story. It's, it's watching a girl go from um, a place where I suppose a lot of us are in, and then she gets her big break, I suppose, and gets to prosper to stardom. So you went to the Brit School. Mm -hmm. Do you find that there's a lot of pressure for you to succeed and be famous because of because of that? I think it just depends how you look at success and what your idea of success is. Because a lot of the time, I think we get wrapped up in this idea that. If you're not known by a lot of people, if your name isn't out there, then you're not successful. But you know, doing well comes in a lot more shapes and forms than just being famous. Um, a lot of people from Brit don't just go on to do performing arts. A lot of people, like I applied to go to university. A lot of people, I did history A level. It's like my extra. I did English as well because that's what for me. That's what I liked most at the time. Being in a place when you're 14, like as young as 14, mm -hmm. where you're around so many people who have like a creative insight and there's not much crossover. You okay. kind of do your thing. You can pick your niche. Yeah, exactly. And that's better because you get more time to concentrate on exactly what you want to do. Um, Was it difficult to, to transition from being a dancer to, to acting? Not really, I don't think. In some ways, I wouldn't call myself an actor. I call myself like, I like to perform, so if the opportunity comes, I'll do it. And how did you get involved in the Olympics? Um, like most people, like all the other volunteers, um, I auditioned. There were like these mass auditions, thousands and thousands of people. And we'd be in this, we were in Bow in these massive warehouses, being taught routines with numbers. It was a really bizarre experience, but um, eventually I started getting pulled out for like these other auditions. You didn't really know what anything was for because a lot of the time it's kept it's kept really under wraps because they don't want it getting out. So um, with Steffi, how will people find out more about the project? Um, you need to go onto YouTube because it's all on YouTube at the moment. Um, and like and subscribe and share the drama to spread the word. Um, keep it going. I mean, it's done quite well, I think, in the views and stuff. Um, it's just about getting more support so that they can think about getting it onto a different platform, making more of a series. Because there's a whole other script that I know, the rest of the story that I know about, but I haven't been saying because I didn't know if I should or not. But it <laughs> looks exciting. Like, it's, um, yeah, just keep it going, I suppose. <laughs>